Thanks for joining us here from our history room in Hills, Iowa. I'm Jay Alpress. I'm the Vice President of Security here at Hills Bank. Hi, and I'm Ken Hendricks, Vice President of eChown Delivery at Hills Bank. All right, Ken, so we know our customers are bombarded with information about data breaches and cybercrime. Uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to have a conversation around that topic. Retailers like Target, Home Depot, and various government agencies, as well as large corporations like Sony, have all been impacted. Yeah, really, we understand the reality is our customers are going to be affected, right? So raise your hand if you shop at Target. It's about everybody. So we feel that discussing this issue is paramount in helping us deal with fraud. Okay, let's talk about what we're seeing in the cybersecurity industry. What are we concerned about? What should our customers be concerned about? Well, really, we're concerned about the same thing, which is their data. So their non-public information, like their social security numbers, their credit card numbers, their driver's license numbers, their account numbers, all the things that the bad guys want to get their hands on so they can turn a profit. When I say bad guys, who am I talking about? That runs the gamut from individual hackers to large organizations. For our purposes, we're most concerned with cyber criminals. They want to obtain your personal information. Some of the large organizations try to do this on a very large scale and treat it a lot like a business. So Jay, when we talk about the good guys, who are they? Well, basically everybody else you didn't mention. So our customers, first and foremost, um, us, the bank, all those third parties we use to help us provide those products and services, and then law enforcement from our local police departments all the way up to the national level like the FBI. So what are we doing about this cyber-related criminal activity? What's our plan here? Well, here at Hills we have a comprehensive information security program which includes the cyber aspect. So the goal of that program is very clear. We want to do one thing, and that's take care of our customer data. So we want to keep our customer data safe so we can keep them, if that makes sense. So every bit of policy or procedure we have in place is designed to do just that. Let's say there's a large retail in the area that is breached. Once the bad guys get that customer information, what do they do with it? Well, typically they're gonna do one of two things. They're either gonna turn right around and sell that data for a profit, or they're gonna use it um, to commit fraud. What do we do after that happens? Because we can't prevent what happens at other organizations, correct? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do. We can't prevent something like Target or Home Depot, obviously. I mean, I wish we could. Um, but really, what we can do is just be prepared for that to happen because we know it's going to. So with that in mind, what are some specific steps that our customers can take uh, to help prevent themselves from becoming victims? Sure. There's actually several steps our customers can take. The first thing is when they're actually reading their email is just be careful when they're clicking on links from email. Mm -hmm. Try to avoid clicking on links from people you don't know that are sending stuff to you. Or if you get a link from someone you do know but you're not expecting it, um, just be leery of actually clicking on that link before confirming it's legitimate. It's also important to keep your antivirus or other internet security you have in place up to date so you have the most recent information to help prevent any of those attacks to you. And we also here at Hills Bank offer a free product called Trustier. Trustier is really designed to help prevent and combat against financial malware. So it helps create a more secure environment for you when you're actually online. In 2016, we'll actually be rolling out our EMV cards for our debit and credit programs. The EMV card is also commonly known as the chip card. This chip card or EMV card actually helps create a more secure transaction at the point of sale. We'll also be supporting various mobile payment uh, platforms in 2016 and on. These payments as well help create a more secure environment when you're actually purchasing. Yeah, well, it sounds like we got a lot going on now and then a, a pretty clear path of where we want to get to in the future as well. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody for joining us for this conversation. Um, hopefully the information was helpful. Uh, we'd welcome your comments, uh, questions below. And if you want to get further information um, for yourself in terms of fraud prevention, you can contact your local banker at 1-800-HILLS-BK, or you can also contact us at hillsbank.com.